event at the Colosseum tomorrow. You'd better rest up before your big day. Best of luck to you tomorrow. I trust you. Knock him dead. <laughs> Here. Cloud's all yours. I'll take care of Aerith after. Yes, ma'am. Sure does sleep a lot, huh? It's better this way. What? Why? Because of Cloud. He's still sick. Please. You gotta make Cloud get better. You gotta. I mean, I'd love to, but... You, uh... You said it's better for Aerith to stay asleep because Cloud's sick. Why is that? Because she'll die if she wakes up. Oh, you think? What makes you say that? Uh. Promise not to tell? <sighs> when she wakes up, a scary man is gonna kill her. Huh? Cloud tries to save her, but he doesn't make it in time. He almost does, but he doesn't. 
She likes Cloud, so she's happy he came. Really, really happy. But... But she dies. That's why you have to make Cloud better. If he's sick, he can't save Aerith. <sighs> Marlene, are you sure you didn't just have a bad dream? No. I saw it. Oh, okay. I did! <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you. With everything that's going on, how could I not? Okay. Just one question, if it's all right. Can you tell me what the scary man looked like? Please? His hair was long. And gray. Did you see? They're blooming. Would you look at that? These were always Aerith's favorites. Do you think this means she's going to wake up? <sighs> Maybe. Can always hope. Hey, Elmira. I've got to go away for a bit. Need to talk to someone about Cloud. And who is this someone? A doctor? Well, he's, uh... <laughs> Close enough, I suppose. Well, hurry on back, okay? It's hard enough looking after these two with your help, but without it... Without you, I'd be a wreck. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going by bike. Shouldn't take long. Just keep an eye on them while I'm gone, okay? Oh, and if Aerith does wake up, please don't let her leave. No promises. That girl snuck out more times than I can count. <laughs> Don't let her. Please. I won't. Make sure that you're back by dinner. about what you said. Couldn't stop thinking about it, actually. About how it's, it's up, up to each, each of us to find our own purpose in life. Because in Avalanche, I think I've found mine. We don't have a whole lot of time. So tonight's gotta be the night. Do yourself a favor and steer clear of Reactor 6. <laughs> Take care, Biggs. No, I didn't... That's not what I meant! <clears throat> Gotta find Elmira!
I wake baby from his nap. Everything okay? They're putting on a production tonight. Loveless. And I happen to have these tickets. I thought it'd be nice to see one of the plays Jesse was in, and I thought you might feel the same. No, you're not busy, so want to come with? Just you and me. Oh, just think of it as one of your jobs, Merc. Fine, but it'll cost you. Are you here to see Loveless? Audience members will also be invited to participate in tonight's revival. Once the show has begun... Attention, Event Square guests! Could make em bloom. That's make em bloom. Come on. Please speak to a member of the staff at your earliest convenience. Thank you. <clears throat> Attention, Event Square guests. Could make em bloom. That's make em bloom. Please speak to a member of the staff at your earliest convenience. Thank you. Attention, Event Square guests. Could make em bloom. That's make em bloom. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? Oh, 
Mechanical metropolis built of blood, sweat, and gears. The city of Garga. An insatiable machine devoid of pity. Neighbors on all sides fell victim to its hunger, while it grew larger and ever more powerful. The whirlwind of conquest swept up many, including him. Alfred was the traveler's name. In search of the goddess's blessing, he had journeyed forth alone. He flung himself into the fray in the hope of becoming a hero, only to be flung in chain and branded a felon. To proceed, or not to proceed? These bars shall not hold me. I must fly free. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! How did you find me?
your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent in divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. if not the product of choices past. Each a fork in the road. None can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. A tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. May mine infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh!
a truly remarkable display of swordsmanship, enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is, indeed, such sweet sorrow. But as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair? Spectacular! Though our tale be loveless named, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim their blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. My love. Alfred. Ah, face the charade. Love is not what it illusion. Goddess above, let my blade strike true. of wings and broken. I consign you to the abyss. An inspiring victory, truly. Proof that love indeed conquers all, is it not? <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break. And you can dance. Alfred, look! Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. 
Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait, for I know that I will find you here.
hell of a show, huh? Attention! The Skywheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Well, you heard him. Last chance to ride the Skywheel. Wanna end this on a high note? Thank you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the magic this evening, you're invited to use your tickets to the show for one free ride on the Skywheel. Enjoy a stunning view of the gold saucer and the dazzling night sky. Your trusty guide Google is at your service. And away we go! Selfish little boy. If I was gonna win her heart, I had some growing up to do. Otherwise, she'd never give me the time of day. Funny enough, our first date was at a theme park. Nowhere near as big as this place, of course. Just a traveling fair with a handful of rides. Ended up riding these wooden chocobos round and round, laughing our asses off. <laughs> Look at me, boring you with my old stories. Wouldn't be the first time. Don't worry, I'm used to it. <sighs> yeah, well. The lesson here is once you find your soulmate, you never let him go. So, who is it, hmm? Who's what? You know damn well what I'm talking about. Why do you always have to overthink things? That ain't no way to live. You gotta just go for it sometimes. You mean like you do, all the time? Hmm. Touché. 
<laughs> you could say that we balance each other out. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it, though. If you do have feelings for someone, tell them straight out. Disclosure, didn't know anything about this promised land. But I do now, it's seriously. Wow, find of the century. You never know, that intel can be bad. Our conclusions are based on a long-standing theory. It's safe to assume the temple and the promised land are one and the same. If the ancient's headed there, then it's gotta be the right place. <laughs> Good thing we let her go. I understand the keystone is to be awarded to the winners of today's special event. How should we proceed? I have an idea. Let's bring this one home. Or 
part in the main event at the Coliseum tomorrow. You'd better rest up before your big day. Goats of blood. Caretaker isn't easy, but it is rewarding. Back again, are we? What is it this time? They're gone now, or what was left of them. Some Shinra troopers helped dispose of their remains. How they got in, however, remains unclear. But that's for someone else to figure out. We're still struggling with the loss of Mr. Murasaki. Shinra's created a refuge for those suffering from Mako poisoning. Here they can relax and recover in their own time. Though recently, some have up and left without a word. Which is frankly beyond me. I'm the manager of the manor only on paper. I know next to nothing about it. Records indicate it was built as a research facility, on land borrowed from the village back in Shinra's early days. The work carried out at the facility, however, was apparently quite sensitive. Pretty much all the details have been redacted really makes you wonder what they're trying to conceal. By the way, you spent an awful long time inside Shinra Manor. What were you doing in there? We... needed to use the terminal. That's all, was it? Why do you ask? Well, you see, ever since your visit, I've been hearing this strange voice. A woman's coming from inside. I know this sounds crazy, but you don't think it's haunted, do you? Hardly. Besides, you're the manager. Ain't it your job to investigate? No. I don't have the clearance to set even one foot inside. Regardless, I know what I heard. It wasn't just the wind rustling through the trees at night. Someone was weeping. Almost musically. It sounded like a woman wailing. For real? I'm afraid so. And given that I didn't hear a thing until you went inside, it's clear there's a connection. Why not take some responsibility and go investigate for me? I think I'm gonna sit this one out. <laughs> hey. Come on. I'm sure it's nothing serious. Someone needs to clean up all those feed carcasses.
Hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hi. How come you named your cat Fluffy? It's not like her fur was long or super soft or anything. Well, to be fair, I wasn't the one who named her. The mayor gave her to me as a gift for my 12th birthday. When he put her in my arms, he said, this little lady's name is Fluffy, but he never explained why. Don't get me wrong, I was dead set on giving her a better name. But before I could, everyone had already started calling her Fluffy. And the more I heard it, the more I thought, well, maybe it's not that bad. So I let it stick. I wasn't much of a fighter back in those days. <laughs> Hard to believe looking at me now. 